Hi, this is Dr. Don, and I have another problem from McClay Chapter 7. This is on a simple linear regression, and we're given some partial output from a regression analysis using software. And we are asked to do, uh, to com conduct the simple linear regression using this data. Well, the first thing they want to know is what is the alternative hypothesis for the test. In our information up here, they give us that the null is that beta 1, the slope, is equal to 0. Well, that's true for almost every regression that you will run into. The null, as always, is there is uh, no slope. There's no uh, correlation, no relation between the two variables in the simple linear regression. And the alternative almost always is that there is. It's a not equal. The slope is not equal to zero. It's rare that you will ever see an, a problem where they tell you we think the slope is negative or we think the slope is positive, which would be a one-tail test. This is not equal. Choose that one. The slope is not equal to zero, therefore it's a two-tail test. The next thing they want to know is what is the p-value for the test statistic t? They give us a t of 16.52, and we can find out what that p-value is using StatCrunch. Okay, I've opened StatCrunch, and we want to find out the probability for a t of 16.52. When we go to stat calculators and we find our t calculator and we look at that and we need to know the degrees of freedom to put in here well we've got an n value of 120 and we have two variables um, that we the monthly price and of the colored plastic bottles and the monthly price of NAFTA. So to get the degrees of freedom, we subtract the number of variables. That'd be 120 minus 2 would be 118. And we'll put our T value in there, 16.52. We want to make sure that we have the right tail. And we click on Compute, and we get a P value of 0. And I shake my head and I say, zero, that's unusual that we would get a p-value of exactly zero. Let's just pause for a moment. Let's find a critical value for this regression. And here we need to put in the alpha, which is 0.05. And we click Compute, and it shows the critical value of t is 1.66. So you can see that 16 is way, way out there. So I can see why it would be approximately zero. I would want to remind you, though, that this is a two-tailed test. And if we had gotten some value of p, p-value for our test statistic, we would have to double that because it's a two-tailed test. Remember that. In this case, two times zero is still zero. And the conclusion, of course, is that p-value is less than alpha, therefore we reject the null and conclude there is a rela linear relationship between the monthly price of naphtha and the monthly price of recycled colored plastic bottles. There is a relationship. There is a slope. <laughs>